guys. So this week we're going to be making a cute little cartoon fridge. Um, so let's just jump right into it. I haven't done this before, so I'm excited to try it out um, for you guys. So go ahead and just create a cube. And then let's make that cube a 10 by 20, maybe, by 10. And then do the divisions the exact same. So 10 by 20 by 10. And then you can move it to the ground by putting Y to 10. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and hollow this guy out. So go into face mode. Click Q. Let's select all of these guys. Go ahead and extrude, offset in by like 0.5, probably. Yeah. And then extrude again and press it into the fridge all the way back until you can't see that black. There we go. All right. So um, next thing we could do is we could take um, each of those, um, like, we want to make little shelves, so I'm thinking that we'll just make, like, maybe, like, four, something easy. So, go ahead and click on face, and then click Q, and then we're going to be selecting a row. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, all right, and then maybe down there we'll leave it like that. So we have three rows. Um, you can extrude and then up that thickness so that it comes out maybe like right there. There we go. All right, so now we have some little shelves in our fridge. Um, so next thing that we're going to want to go ahead and do is make um, another cube because this will end up being our door. So give it the same, um, the height should be 20. I'm thinking for the width, we only really need to do like, let's, okay, so this is the exact same size. I don't need to be that deep, so maybe change the width to be two. There we go. Actually, you could probably do one. And then give it 20 height divisions. And then 10 depth divisions. All right. Let's go ahead and put that on the ground. So go into object mode, do Y to 10, and then we can move it up here so that it's matching up with our door. All right. So um, this part is a little weird. So I think usually you have like a division in your fridge. So it would be like you have a part of it has a little like divot in it. So let's say like this row of faces is like where there's a divot in our bridge for the freezer, right? Um, but let's try and have that match up. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make this like a two door, um, I think I'm going to make this a two-door fridge, and then this bottom part is going to be a little freezer. So that means, like, the freezer is about there. Yeah, with that row. Um, so I'm just going to extrude those guys. And then I'm going to offset them in just a smidge. And then up your thickness. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, Select that face and select that face. So you have two faces selected. And then um, do edit mesh bridge option box. Smooth path curve. All right, looks good. Um, what you can do is we'll probably end up making the curve a bit smaller. 
So you can find the curve by going into wireframe mode and you'll see like a little, little curve on the inside. Go into object mode, select the curve to your best ability. And then do um, control vertex. And then you can actually edit those points to better fit whatever like model you're looking for. So I want it to be a little more like that for a little freezer drawer. Um, I also think it's pretty big. So I'm thinking we might just be able to like select these faces and then just like scale them in. We'll see if that works. I would, I would love it if that worked. <laughs> That would be the easy method. Okay, that is definitely not what we want. And the same with that. All right, I think I know my issue. So what I should have done, okay, so go ahead and, go ahead and select two faces. So you've got two just like that. And then let's extrude them and then let's offset them in because I want a pretty thin bar, probably like that. And then um, let's do edit mesh bridge. And go ahead and select those faces and do edit mesh bridge. There we go. All right, so go into um, wireframe mode, go into object mode. And then you want to try and click on that curve and do control vertex so that we can control these points to be just a bit smaller. <laughs> um, hold on. There we go. Let's see. Let's make it more like that. We could probably even go like a smidge more. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Oh, perfect. Okay, sweet. So all we need to do next is um, do a couple more handles as well. So I think also what we need to do is we need to show the division of where the fridge can be actually pulled out. So I'm going to add, let's just add a multi-cut, hold control, and then let's click probably like around there and then we'll just sync that little part in and then let's add a multi-cut really close to here and there all right so we've got a multi-cut going up and down all we need now to do is select those faces and um, push them in a little bit so go into face mode click Q hold tab and then select those guys. Whoop. I'm not being very careful with my selection. <laughs> All right, make sure you didn't grab any extra. Make sure you get the ones on the side, on the top. All right, and then let's just press ex first extrude and then change your thickness to go into the mesh. Make sure you don't overshoot it. All right. Next thing we need to do is select some faces for the handles for the fridge. So um, let's just do this side first. We'll do from there to there. Do extrude. Let's offset in just a smidge, probably like around there. And then do um, select those faces and do edit mesh bridge again. And then we can do the same with the other side. Extrude, offset in just a smidge and do edit mesh 
bridge after you select those two faces. Let's offset them in by 0.15 and then select those two faces and do edit mesh bridge. And then let's do the other set, extrude them, offset in by 0.15, select those two faces and do edit mesh bridge. All right, so now what we need to do is um, edit those curves so that they're a bit closer. Um, so find that curve, right click, control vertex and then you can grab them and press them in so that they're a bit closer and then we can do the same with this one all right looks good um yeah, so that's basically the fridge. You can, um, for the door, you can press D. <coughs> you can remove the door. You can move the door um, over a bit if you want. Go to edit, delete all by type, and then history. So it deletes our editing history. And then you can move that door and press three on um, the fridge. If you want to, you can go through and bevel it. I kind of like how it looks without beveling, so I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, and then you can just push that back on so it matches up. Um, if you really wanted to like showcase it being open, all you would do is just select the faces that you want um, to move and then do um, edit mesh detach and then you can, or you can extrude it on honestly either one. Um, here we can try that now. So just select the faces that you want and then you could extrude it and then um, since you have it selected you can do detach and then move it however you wanted and then push it back so that it's connected to the door like that um you don't have to do any of that I think it's kind of cool to showcase it open that way you show you know it's not hollow um but yeah up to you so that's basically it for that guy um oh you might need to fill this hole right here so you can just select the edges that are giving you trouble. So it looks like looks like we've got this edge kind of giving us a hard time. So you can do mesh fill hole and it should fill it into its best ability. So um, yeah, that's basically just an easy little fridge. Um, thanks for being patient with me and sticking uh, through it, even though it was my first time kind of trying to make a hollow fridge and, and all of that. So um, thanks for watching and um, let me know if you have any questions or anything and I'll see you guys next week for whatever we're making. Bye guys.